last was a king in Scotland whose name was Robert Bruce, and he needs to be both brave and wise because the times that he lived were wild and rude. The king of England was at war with him and led a great army into Scotland to drive him out of the land. Battle after battle had been fought. Six times, Bruce led his brave little army against his foes, and six times his men were beaten up and driven into flight. And at last, his little army was scattered, and he was forced to hide in the woods and the lonely places among the mountains. One rainy day, Bruce lay on the ground under a crude shed, listening to the pattern of drops on the roof above him. He was so tired and then happy that he's gonna give up all hope. It seems that he is no use for him to try to do anything more. As he lay thinking, he saw a spider over his head making ready to weave her web. As he watched her, she, as she toiled slowly with a great care. Six times she tries to throw her frail thread to one beam to another, and six times it fell short. Poor thing, said Bruce. You two know what it is to fail? But the spider didn't lose hope the sixth failure. With still more care of Bruce, she's ready to try the seventh time. As Bruce almost forgot his own problem, as he watched her, he swings herself upon the slender line. Will she fail again? No! As the thread carried safely to the beam and to the fast end line. I will too! I will try the seventh time, said Bruce. He arose and called his men together and told them his plans and sent them messages to cheer his disheartened people. Soon, there was now a group of brave Scotchmen around him, and another battle had been fought. And the King of England retreated to his own country. After that day, no one stand by the name of Bruce will ever hurt the spider. The lesson which the little creature taught the king was never forgotten. Thank you.